All right, can I just say year 12, right? Like, after we have finished this trigonometric unit. There is no new content for the trigonometric topic, right? But the, the issue is, or the, the, the tricky part is, combining our knowledge in trigonometric functions to existing questions that you've learnt about, right? When you see this question, right, you need to think about what is the question actually asking? It's finding the equation of a tangent. And you've done that plenty of times. In fact, I think you learned that in prelim, right? But now we're incorporating this idea by using trigonometric functions. And it's not always necessary, right? But it can really help for, be helpful for you to draw a graph to visualize what's going on. What is this question actually asking? Well, it's saying that at the curve, y equals to cos 2 of x. So I know that the period is affected. It's going to be like double what I normally expect. What is the equation of the tangent at the point where x equals to pi on 6? So think back to what that actually means. Well, I'm saying at this, for this graph here, when I look at the x value of pi on 6, which is here, right, I want to find the equation of the tangent. So that's the equation of the line which touches which touches my curve at a single point. That's what the tangent actually is, right? Now just looking off this really visually, what value do you expect the tangent to have, are the gradient to be? Should it be positive or negative? negative? So that's one really quick check you can make to see if you're on the right track. If your gradient is negative, then you know you've got the right one. So just to think about that, before you dive into the question, like what do you actually need? You need to be using your point gradient formula, right? Can you remind me what that is again, Jesse? Why? Minus y1 equals m outside of x minus x1. Yeah. And just thinking about what these actually are, I know that x and y, these are actually coordinates, right? That's my y coordinate. And this is my x coordinate. What is m again? Gradient. m is the gradient, OK? So just before you dive into the question, before you start doing any operations, just think about what do I actually need to do? What do I need to find? What do these things mean again, OK? Now, obviously, with this one, it's, it's slightly different. I need to find the gradient of this curve. And I know that's going to be involving the first derivative. So I say, well, y equals to cos of 2x. What would y dash be? Negative 2 sine 2x. Good. OK, that part's pretty straightforward. But then you want to think, I actually want the gradient at a specific point, don't I? The pi on 6 point. Yeah, so what would I need to do with that? Sub in pi on 6. Let's substitute pi on 6 at this point here. So. I'll say, I'll write down here, Ooh. at x equals to pi on 6, y dash is equal to negative 2 sine, uh, be careful here, because that 2, that coefficient is actually inside the function, so I'm going to just draw some brackets, 2 pi on 6, but that's just going to simplify really nicely, what's 2 times 2 pi on 6, that's just, right, negative 2 sine pi on 3. Now, I saw a lot of you either evaluating this or putting this into your calculator. Um, what I would need you to do is be more comfortable with your exact values. Because you know that pi and 3 in degrees, what would that be? That, that's just 60. 60 degrees. Because I always remember pi is 180 degrees. So I divide it by 3. That's 60. Yeah, can I try that? have two equal signs. The reason I'm about to draw the next one, the next value. On the same line. Um, because that's simplified at pi and 3. Oh, right. Yeah. And then I think, hang on, what's sine of 60? That's in the exact value. Root 3. Root 3 on 2. two. Right. So this is where you need to be comfortable with your exact values. Either memorize it, or I think they give you the trigonometric triangles. On yeah, your but that's minus 2 out of front cancels. It does, right? But I don't want to do too much simplification in one go. I'm just going to write negative 2 times root 3 on 2. Or as you said, Mitch, that's just negative root 3. And that's how I know that that's actually correct, because I expected my tangent to be negative, and there I've got a negative gradient there. Sorry, I expected my, my gradient to be negative, and I've got a negative gradient there. That's negative root 3, right? Question 3. Yeah. Well, what happened if we didn't uh, put it in exactly? You, mm. you put it okay. in exactly, what if you did that, that you square the... If we put negative negative sign, 1. 1.7 something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, what if we just put negative sign... Um, what if sign if you put oh, okay. The M. You could actually do that as well. That's, that's actually not a bad idea. That's, that's not a bad idea. idea. That's yeah, that's, that's fine too. Um, if you're, yeah, if you're not as comfortable, maybe you can do that. But there will be questions where you're actually required to use the exact value. Yeah, yeah. So I, I wouldn't say that this is a, a justification for not knowing them. Okay, there are questions where you actually need to know the values really confidently. Let, let's keep going. So I know that my m now, I can fill that in. My m is 
Negative pi on negative root 3. Okay. What about x1 and y1 though? Do I know those values? No, no. Yeah. Yeah, what's my x? Yeah, so remember, these are just coordinates, right? It's, and what coordinates are they? Well, the coordinates at where your graph is meeting the curve, right? I know that the x value is going to be pi on 6. How do I find the y value? Exactly, right? It's no different to your normal um, tangent questions. You're literally taking your x value and you're just substituting it into your equation of the line. So, I've got y is then equal to, oh, may I just be really clear with that, at x equals to pi on 6. Why did I die again? Oh, I don't know. y is then equal to cos of 2 times pi on 6. But again, I know that's just going to be cos of pi on 3. What's cos of pi on 3? Root 3. Oh, no, 60, sorry. <coughs> Yeah, that's cos of 60, which is... Root 3. Um, well, root 5. Root 3 on 2? Uh, half. It's... Yeah. Half. Right. <laughs> I'll show you what we After all that, that's actually my y1 value. So I'll say up here, y1 is equal to oh, half. Okay? Right. And then, now I have all the pieces, I can just put them together. Therefore, my equation of the tangent is y minus y1, which is just half, which is equal to m, my gradient, minus root 3 outside of x minus pi on 6. Now, can I just leave my answer like this? This is actually correct, right? You're more used to seeing it in the point gradient form, but there's really nothing wrong with this answer. It's, it's not incorrect at all. You could take an extra step and you could bring the minus half over. You could say y equals to negative root 3 x minus pi on 6 plus half, okay? But Again, right, this is a perfectly fine answer because you've answered the question. What's the equation of the tangent? That's what they're looking for, and that's what you need to give. Okay.